Hello everyone! Can you see the flowers? Very beautiful and relaxing, isn't it? Did you know that the plants reproduce through its flowers? The flowers entice bees and butterflies to facilitate pollination and fertilization to produce seeds. For now, we will look at the different parts of a flower. I have here gumamela flowers and we will look into their parts. First, I will show you the following parts. The pedicel or the stem, the sepals, and the petals. Now, I will move the camera closer to the flower to show you those parts. This is the stem or the pedicel. Its function is to support the flower. Connected to the stem is the calyx consisting of the sepals and the receptacle. The calyx and the sepals protect the flower bud when it's developing. Now, the beautiful and colorful part of the flower are its petals. It's usually bright to attract pollinators like bees and butterflies. After we have seen the pedicel, sepal, and the petals, let us look now at the reproductive parts of the flower. The male reproductive part of a flower is the stamen, and the female reproductive part of a flower is the pistil. Let us look at the stamen. The stamen is consisting of the anthers, the filaments, and the staminal column or the stamen tube. The staminal column holds the stigma and the style which I will discuss later. This is the staminal column. This is small hair-like parts with yellow things at the end are the filaments, while the yellow things are the pollens. Later, I will discuss the role of the pollens in the reproduction of plants. By the way, the pollens look like this under the microscope. You can see in this image that the pollens are attached to the anther. The anthers produce these pollens. Those are the male reproductive parts of a flower. The female reproductive part is collectively called as the pistil. The ovary and the style parts are consisting the pistil can be found by dissecting the flower while the stigma can be seen at the top of the staminal column. This is the extracted pistil of the gumamela flower. The top part is the stigma. Here is a close-up picture of the stigma consisting of sticky bulbs. When pollinators, pollinators like bees and butterflies perch on a flower, the pollen attaches itself on their legs and finds its way to stick to the stigma. From the stigma, the pollen will travel to the ovary, passing through the style. The style connects out to the stigma to the ovary that produces ovules. When the pollen reaches the ovary and meets the ovules, fertilization will occur and the ovules will develop into seeds and later may land on the soil and grow into another plant. Fascinating, isn't it guys? I hope you learned something from my presentation. Bye-bye!